what makes you come out and be seen versus just being the type of rapper that just drops songs that never performs? I mean, in reality, as as creators and stuff, we have our different times when we're ready for different things. Because there are always going to be times for writer's block. There's going to be different points at different levels of imagination. So, um, you know, I happen to be in much more of a heavy tour mode or just moving around mode, you know, networking mode and getting out and meeting people. You know what I'm saying? I've been making music. I've been moving around. I've been doing what I'm supposed to do in terms of having material to put out to the people. You know, that's why I have the album that I have right now. IWH is on Spotify. Again, A-N-C-I-D-Z. It is called IWH. Um, and uh, so, yeah, you know, just having material so that you can put it out to the people. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's a lot more than just, oh, yeah, I'm going to put my, my drone on SoundCloud and then, you know, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's You have to move. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one of the best ways that you can do that is by going outside and getting to test what you, you know what I mean, outside in front of people. So, um, you know, for, for, for me, I already know what I'm capable of. You know what I'm saying? I already knew. Um, yeah, yeah, because you, you said you was. You just happen to be born with your confidence, right? Born right? with it, right? But also just having experience in general, you know, playing yeah. a bunch of instruments and everything, you know. It's just, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, like I said, you people can also show you and you can see what you're capable of. Mm -hmm. you know, like I said, just go outside. My job is just going out. Like I said, meeting people, loving that I'm getting to meet new people and, and and just find however many opportunities I can to be on different stages. You know what I'm saying? And you, just, just go outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like, 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 I don't, I don't understand. Like, why do I? Why, I'm still talking. You know what I mean? Can you talk about the uh, first time you came to Uptown Open Mic? Um, yeah, so I came back to Philly. I was in I was in Wyoming uh, from July. Uh, uh, July 5th was when I got back. And uh, I believe that was a Tuesday. I came the next day. Uptown Open Mic was the first place that I went. I performed my language. Fuck You Fight Me was the first song that I performed, as a matter of fact. Um, and uh, I performed uh, Reasons. And, you know, that was an iconic night. Uh, that was when, uh, of course, I got to meet a whole bunch of different people, you know, KLX, Rob. Uh, uh, I did Free Spirit Friday I beat, uh, that, that week as well, you know what I mean? It was, it's, I'll turn up a mic, you know? No, I think the first time you came, I was in California. Right? Wasn't I? Because I saw you oh, on yes. the Instagram. I didn't even, yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, was yeah. Like, I saw you on the Instagram, you was like easily number one. Like you, <laughs> you was like, I was like, oh damn, he was fucking with us. That yeah. dude looked like he got a lot of energy. Absolutely. I'm glad that you I came yeah. back and I was able to meet you. And I had the fro at that time. I had the fro at that time. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. So but yeah, my hair's going to be straight. Too. That's what's up. Can, can you tell people how to follow you, bro? Yeah, so again, it's at my name is Despues uh, on Instagram with Patrick Boyd. But also, again, like I said, I'm a producer, engineer. Um, follow me, A S C I D C C. Power is ours. I mean, come on, come on, come on. That's that's obvious. That's obvious. That's obvious. Uh, <laughs> so, if someone doesn't know who you are, what would you say? My name is Despues. I'm an audio wizard from North Philadelphia. I produce, engineer, write, compose all of my own material. And, uh, I ain't hear you. Can you can you say it again? My name is Despues. That's D E S P U E S. Me on Instagram, all of that. I'm, I'm on Spotify. A S C I D Z Z. I make beats all of that, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, okay, so how long you been making beats? It's been since I was boss. Oh, oh, beats. I'm sorry, 2011, 2011. Okay. Nine years, man. Nine years, 2020. Okay. Uh, so, um, where are you from? North Philly. North Philly. Okay. What's your uh, what's what's uh, what makes North Philly different than other parts of Philly? You know what? It's kind of funny. I, I, I've thought about how we how we uh, fragment, you know, Philly in all of these different directions. You know, west, south, north, northeast. You know, um, so with us, uh, apparently, we're more aggressive. And you know what? I guess that's. I guess you could say that. You know what I mean? People say I'm aggressive, but you know what I mean. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a different. It's a different kind of aggression. North Philly motherfuckers kind of kind of grimy. You know, they'll, they'll kind of bust on you any moment. You know what I mean? Now, now any 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 section of Philly might do that, but I don't know. I don't. Not not the way that a North Philly motherfucker might do it. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll really go grimy on you. You know what I'm saying? Do something nasty on you. That day. What's an example of something like that? If someone has never even been to Philly and they live in the suburbs, what does that mean? All of, all of, all What's an example of that that you've seen that make you say that? Okay, listen, listen. Something real clear. Okay, okay, listen, listen. The only point that I'm making here, though, is they don't get offended. You know what I mean? It's, it's just a conversation. You know, and they're just, this is what 
they're thinking. This is what they were bred to do. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's kind of like Spartans. They were born to fight, so they're 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 equipped already with being able to say things like "I look like James Brown." You know, just come straight off the rip. You know what I mean? And it's 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 because it's of the hair. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 how people you know recognize me. You know what I mean? Wait, look in the camera. Which can you take your head off real quick? Cause oh, that's you said that's how they recognize you, right? Oh yeah yeah yeah. I mean, oh, okay, I'm just saying so. it's just it's just hair. I, okay, it's, it's just hair. I, I, right. I and so uh, I just I don't. What's the um? What's the first time you straighten your hair? I was a kid. I, I was a kid. But I always wanted it to happen. None of, nobody in my family would ever want to do it, but I had the cool aunt, you know what I mean, one down, one time, and she was already doing somebody else's hair, and I saw the hot comb, and she was like, oh yeah, cool. So then she went ahead and did it. So you always had longer hair? I always wanted longer hair, yes. It wasn't that long at the time. You know, I actually had waves back in like 2014. Oh, okay. Um, but I started straightening it regularly in 2015. When was your last haircut? Last week. Uh, that's a shape up, or uh, well, I'm yeah. talking about when was your last haircut? Like when you had the uh, buzz? You said you had oh, waves. Oh, like, like 2014. Like I said, no, I had waves. I had waves in 2014. Okay. Man, they were spinning it. They were spinning. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? But uh, you know, I, I've always wanted my hair. But what's the difference just, between your like, What's the difference between how you feel about yourself when you have waves and how you feel about yourself now when you have? Uh, that's, that's not a relevant stroke. question. That's not a relevant. It's not a. Re it's that's not a relevant. Not, no. Okay. So, uh, since that's not a relevant question, what what is it that uh, allows Des Puez to f such uh, authority over? Uh, audience, uh, yeah. Such. Uh, well, how should I? How sh I'm trying to. What is it? Is it? Is it? Is it North Philly? Is it the North Philly vigor that you were just speaking of, or is it the uh, the desire and understanding and knowing that you are your own person, God? Like, what's your mission? People have their own uh, levels of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I was just born with mine. You okay. Know, but it, it just, you know, look at look at people like Tyler the Creator, for example, and people can compare me to him once, whatever. But. And he has a, a very high level of confidence, you know what I mean? And but not not everybody has that, but not everybody are, is also willing to actually work on that as well. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, that we, we we have different conf different confidence levels, and we have also different times when we can feel them. Um, and that's that's just a capacity to love yourself. So um, especially in 2018, I started to love myself really. And um, yeah, man. You said 2014. No, 20, 2018 was when I really I learned that I needed to love myself. What was the experience that brought that to your mind? Like, was it like a was it like a, a something that came like over time a few different things? It was getting my heart broken. I think I think I think that was like the turning point. And then oh okay, one of them at least. And then also just yeah, just yeah, my, my uh, and that was coming to terms with my family situation.